atop his opulent throne, the king reclines with ease, surveying the chessboard of destiny laid out before him. Each piece, no matter how hungry for movement, remains stagnant, awaiting his command. The challengers, like restless shadows, scurry beneath him, the ambition echoing against the cold pavement as they sought to grab his attention. For years, the echoes of Benavidez's names reverberated through the halls. The two-time super middleweight champion steadfast in his pursuit of the king's crown. Yet the monarch wore his indifferences like armor, unshaken by Benavidez's cause. The throne of Canelo felt secure, impervious to the stirrings of ambitions from below. With limited paths open, Benavidez finds himself faced with the daunting choice. Ascend to the light heavyweight division, where the gilded allure of glory awaits. Yet where the king's bounty lay, untouched until the dust of the undisputed title is settled. And lo and behold, destiny awaits. Fate had other plans. Enter David Morrell, a worthy challenger motivated to test the mettle of the resolute Benavidez. As the face intertwines, a tantalizing clash awaits promising to shake the very foundation of the realm. The throne might have gone unchallenged for now, but the game was far from over. The pieces were poised to move, whether the king willed it or not. David Benavidez emerges as a new era of pressure fighters, a whirlwind of ferocity and volume. His boxing style is a captivating symphony, weaving together controlled aggression, raw explosive strength, lightning hand speed, and refined technique. Torn and rangy, Benavidez maneuvers behind long punches that keep opponents at bay, while setting the foundation for his relentless onslaught. Combinations and become more offensive. A true combination artist, Benavidez thrives in a fast-paced dance, adapting to fight at any range. Even on the inside, he showcases an uncanny ability to break down defenses employing crafty tactics that turn the inside game into his playground. It's the unremitting application of pressure, combined with sharp combinations, that has earned him the name of the Mexican monster. In order to require a draw, positive results when he started going with the Big body. right hand by Benavidez! Benavidez is the haunting shadow that follows you every step. Swift, unpredictable, and capable of striking with force that is both astonishing and overwhelming. It's a thriving yet daunting experience that leaves adversaries moved by the ruthless force of his will. Big overhand right! What an uppercut! Look at this work rate by David! A left hook that knocked out the mouthpiece of that fight son! Long look at Andre Davidez! But Benavidez, the younger, fresher! The Cuban boxing schools have long been celebrated for crafting some of the finest southpaw talent in the sport. Enter David Morrell, the contemporary embodiment of this esteemed legacy. Unlike the traditional moving, counter-punching snipers that have come before him, Morrell burst onto the scene with a fierce, power-driven style. Look at his leg. Said, no, no. This Watch, is over. Watch his leg. Oh. His southpaw stance becomes a launching pad for punishing blows, particularly his devastating left hand, which he wields with the intention of securing early knockouts. With a blend of raw power and lightning fast hands, Morrell redefines the boxer puncher archetype, seamlessly emerging his robust amateur experience with a strategic and explosive offensive game. Morrell leverages his impressive size and strength in the ring, boldly challenging his opponents to engage in a trade of fists. With his one punch knockout power, he transforms every exchange into a high stakes gamble, leaving little room for error. Each blow he delivers carries the weight of unrelenting ferocity, making it clear that when it comes to striking, he is the hammer of Cuba. Be over. It's time to practice. The matchup is practically draped and fighting the year potential. Both combatants bring a warrior spirit into the ring, thriving when dictating the pace and pressing forward. The thrilling clash of their aggressive styles promises a spectacle that could ignite fireworks from the very first bell. As both fighters step into the ring for the second outing at light heavyweight, the spotlight shifts to the vulnerabilities informed by the last fight. In Benavidez's debut, 
at light heavyweight against former world champion Vasky. He unleashed his signature style right from the get-go. He marched forward, applying pressure, and worked his way onto the inside. The initial rounds are crucial as Benavidez thrives on draining his opponent's energy, compelling them to fight at a high-paced fight as they grapple with the urgency of keeping the Mexican monster at bay. As fatigue begins to set in, Benavidez shifts into overdrive, ramping up the pace and pushing his foes to the limits, ultimately breaking them down with the unsatiable hunger for punishment. Just past the midway point, again, putting the pressure on Bostic here in the second. After 10 rounds of command in the ring, Benavidez found himself fading in the championship rounds. Was it the toll of adapting to a new weight division? Or perhaps the challenge poised by an opponent substantial enough to withstand the heavy pressure? For the first time, he faced a rival who endured his attacks without crumbling, forcing him to dig deeper than he ever had before. Each round became a test of endurance, revealing the depths of both capabilities and limitations and a brutal battle against a strong opponent. In Morel's inaugurable light heavyweight belt, he squared off against Hot Rod Kalashki, a fighter who had previously been dispatched by Betabiev with alarming ease. Though Morel emerged victorious by a wide margin on the judges' scorecards, the belt felt deceptively tighter with moments that sparked tension. His power, while effective, didn't carry the same weight in his new division, compelling him to rethink his offensive strategy. Rather than relying solely on his power, he had to tap into his creativity to outlane Kalashkin. The Cuban's flat-footedness revealed vulnerabilities as Hot Rod's boxing and movement created challenges causing morale problems in ways he hadn't anticipated or experienced before. The pressure style of Benavidez relies heavily on two crucial elements, an unrelenting punch output and the ability to close the distance and get onto the inside. To counter the ferocious advance of the Mexican monster and disrupt his offensive flow, Morel must cultivate a robust outside game. By utilizing his range attacks and agile movement, he can force Benavidez to earn every inch he seeks. Each step forward for the aggressive fighter diminishes the space he craves, making him pay the toll for encroaching onto the inside, where Morel intends to keep the advantage and dictate the pace of the fight. When Benavidez successfully navigates into the pocket, he transforms into a tornado of combinations, ruthlessly assaulting the opponent's guard. The secret to countering this lies in timing. In the midst of the Mexican monster's flurries of punches, he becomes vulnerable. Those moments between his punches leave openings that good timing can exploit. It's a delicate dance of defense and offense, where precision timing takes charge. Benavidez's aggressiveness can also create a bad habit of reaching in to bridge the gap, creating opportunities for Morel to capitalize. Before Morel's last bout, his power was the spearhead of his offense, struck a fear into the hearts of his opponents. However, when he faced off against Hot Rod, he encountered a myriad of challenges. His proficiencies didn't translate into the same dominance when his power couldn't break through. This forced him to pivot to more of a tactical approach. Morel's limitations became evident as he struggled to navigate the tight quarters, often missing his wide power punches when he managed to get on the inside. His resilience on the knockout power led him to being flat footed rendering him vulnerable in his mobility. Conversely, Benavidez boasts a solid outside game as he has shown competence in his outboxing. 
won the hot rod and poles, causing significant problems for Morel, who found himself outboxed at numerous points in a bout. This is where the fighter is moving. Because Hot Rod's going the same to the right. You see a lot of good fighters throwing the punch. Oh, nice punch. Where the fighter is still everything upstairs for David Will. That's easier said than done, Chris, but yes, I agree. But that's another stage. That's, that's another graduate. Morel's impressive knockout record stems from the sheer force that he channels into each of his punches. However, this power comes at a cost, as it necessitates rest periods after each explosive strike, creating windows of vulnerability. In these crucial moments, Benavidez can see the opportunity to take the control of the fight, capitalizing on the breaks Morel takes. By strategically engaging during these lows, he can dictate the pace and rhythm, effectively shifting the momentum in his favor while Morel recharges for his next assault. Morel, and then a straight left. I believe the pivotal X factor in this matchup will hinge on conditioning. Who can outlast the other main down the line to achieve the higher punch output? But more crucially, who can successfully keep the opponents in the defensive? Both fighters are front foot warriors, relying on a potent mix of pressure and power to overwhelm the rivals. As they lock horns early in the bout, the key will be which boxer can seize control and push the other onto the back foot, granting them a significant upper hand. While Benavidez has shown he could adapt and fight off the back foot, Morel has yet to experience being pushed backward. Regardless of the tactics employed, brace yourself for an all-out war, as both of these fighters are arguably in the primes and carry explosive firepower. Each boxer carries the lessons learned from the last encounter. They must navigate the shadows of the weaknesses while striving for dominance. Strategy takes center stage as they aim to exploit the flaws they previously uncovered in one another, making this matchup not just a battle of strength, but a chess match of wits and adjustments.